ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone! Ako si Agabi Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista. At ako naman si Jules Giang and this is K-Check! Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Unang tanong, are they really up for the challenge? Yan ang magandang tanong. Kaya naman samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. First off is LJ who is a mathematics student here at UP Diliman. In his free time, he likes going to the gym, spending time with his boyfriend, and watching random movies and shows. He is passionate about promoting mathematics to everyone in any way that he can. We also have CJ, who is a student in Iris. She studies special needs education. Her hobbies are watching movies, playing volleyball, and reading books. And she also listens to K-pop singer Bibi on repeat. She's a huge fan of sunsets. Lance, who is a special needs education student likewise, of Eris, who is into Formula One and Mac Miller. And he also likes watching movies. Florence is a geography student of UP Diliman. He's an active transportation advocate, preferring to walk or use his bike in his commute to campus. An avid film enthusiast, he likes to spend his free time thinking and writing about films. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Glessi Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. Up next, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have Assistant Professor Marla Indriga of the Department of Biology from UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers are 10 points each. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin! Question number one. How many chambers does the human heart have? Aljay. Four. Four is correct. K-check. Question number two. What term refers to entertainment, games, films, or shows that is designed to be educational? The correct answer is edutainment. Question number three. The letters LBP stands for which government financial institution? Aljay. Land Bank of the Philippines. Land Bank of the Philippines is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What do you call a scientist who studies very small forms of life such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites? Florence. Microbiologist. Microbiologist is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What country was ruled by the Qing or Manchu dynasty from 1644 to 1912? Aljay. China. China is correct. K check. Question number six. Which big mammal, the second largest on land, is prized for its horns, which are made into traditional medicines? Rhinoceros or rhino is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What number is exactly between 27 and 37? Florence. 32. 32 is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. What country's seat of government can be found in New Delhi? Florence. India. India is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Who was elected President of the United States in 2020? Florence. Joe Biden. Joe Biden is correct. Okay, check. Question number ten. Which common donut shape 
roll of Jewish origin is made by boiling and then baking? Algae. Bagel. Bagel is correct. Key check. Question number 11. A magnitude 4.8 earthquake stopped a United Nations Security Council meeting in what U.S. city on April 5, 2024? Lawrence. New York City. New York City is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. What do you call a naval vessel designed to operate underwater? Aljay. Submarine. Let me proceed with the question. Underwater, whose name literally means under the sea. You said submarine, that's correct. Okay, check. And that ends round one. Maraming salamat, Jules. And after that round, we have Aljay and Florence tied with 50 points each, followed by Lance with 10 and CJ with some catching up to do. At ito na nga ang moment natin na gustong gusto natin, ang portion where we get to know more about our contestants. Unahin na natin. Si LJ, bakit mo ba napaka-paborito ang math and how and why are you promoting it? Um, I really like the challenge in mathematics and I feel like I enjoy in promoting it in the sense that people find it a challenge. I want to show them that it's a fun challenge to take. Pero na challenge ka o talagang magaling ka talang mag talagang magmath? Na challenge din po ako. Kanina nga yung question, nahirapan ako sa average nun. <laughs> Very interesting na ano no, makita mo na fun yung math. Sana Oo, nung bata ako ganun. Kasi hindi ka makarelate eh, hindi. hindi masyado. Pero twice <laughs> ano na to, straight na na episode sa may Math Wizards tayo. Oo. Okay. So, maraming salamat Al si CJ naman. Ay isang huge fanatic ng mga sunset. Bakit? Ano nakikita mo sa sunset? Kaya fan na fan ganun. Um, pag nakikita ko po siya, parang nakakawala po siya ng stress po ganun. Parang ang sarap po sa feeling na tignan lang siya ganyan. Ano yung pinaka-favorite spot mo na makakita ng sunset? Sa amin po kasi, malapit po kami sa, ma sa dagat po. So, Saan ba yung sa inyo? Sa Baseco po. Baseco. Mm -hmm. So, lalabas lang po ako ng bahay, ganun. Uupo lang po sa may ano, tabi ng bahay namin. Yun na po, nakikita ko na po siya. Meron ka naman naisip na place na gusto mong puna puntahan kasi balita mo maganda talaga ang sunset doon. Um, sa ano po, sa probinsya po namin, sa Bulacan po, parang minsan lang po kasi ako makauwi dun sa Bulacan. So, parang ganun po, ang sarap dun pumunta. Diba? You can take the girl out of Bulacan, but you can never take Bulacan out of the girl. So, we will go back to Lance and Florence later on. Thank you to our very interesting contestants. We'll talk to the others later. In the meantime, pagandaan naman natin ang round 2. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng... Key check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Tied with 50 points each, sina Aljay at Florence, followed by Lance with 10 points, at si CJ pwede pang humabol sa ating susunod na round. Maraming salamat, Jules. Pero ngayon, excited ako kasi babalik tayo dun sa aking favorite part, ang chica portion dito sa Kay Chica. Kay Chica. <laughs> so, Lance, rare daw dito sa Pilipinas yung mahilig sa Formula One. Although, I think, Dumadami na yung Formula 1 aficionados na yan. Paano ka naengganyo ba doon? Um, yung father ko po kasi is a Michael Schumacher fan. And growing up po, naging influence ko na rin po siya. Hanggang sa mag po si Michael and up to maging Vettel pa na po ako. Tapos yun, naging, after po maging fan, ay maging driver ng fan, nag-switch na po sa team na lang uh, sa Red Bull. Since ang nakakabilib po na Nagda-dominate yung isang beverage company sa motorsport. I was about to say, kasama pala ang Red Bull oh, yeah. sa Formula One. Pero sino si Mac Miller? Ah, rapper po siya. Ah, Akala ko naman race car driver. <laughs> <laughs> Baka fan din siya. Fan din. So, Mac Miller, yes. iba? Oh. Anong genre niya? Ah, uh, hip-hop po. Hip-hop. Uh, yes po. Okay. You learn something new every yes. day. Hey, maraming salamat sa iyo, Lance. Ngayon naman si Florence. Si Florence will explain to us what active transportation is. Ano ba tong advocacy mo, Florence? So, yung active transportation pa is moving from one place to another using 
uh, different mobility. So, paglalakad, pagbabike. So, yun po yung advocacy ko. Na sana mas marami pa yung naglalakad or nagbabike tungo sa destinations nila. Mm. So, paano ka nagpunta dito today? Uh, tricycle. <laughs> tricycle. <laughs> Pero ilang ano, ilang thousand of steps ang goal mo per day, 'di ba? May mga ganun. Parang usual pa 20,000, 'di ba? So, wow. wow. Parang <laughs> 10,000 ang hirap habulin noon at 20,000 pa kaya. Wow. And biking. Kayo, attorney, fan ba kayo ng bike? Hindi na nga ako nagsasalita dito, <laughs> tatanungin mo pa ako. Well, I tried. That's why I know it's difficult to reach 10,000 steps. I try. But it's yes. difficult. Yes. Okay, so syempre tuloy-tuloy na tayo. So to our contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin. begin! This is round two. Question number one. Named after the gramophone, what is the name of the annual awards given for notable achievements, LJ? Grammy Awards. The Grammy Awards is the correct answer, k -check. Question number two. What movie franchise that began in 1995 is centered on a board game that involves wild animals, plants? Jumanji. It involves wild animals and other jungle elements as the game is played in real life. Jumanji is the correct answer, k -check. Question number three. Geologists revealed in 2024 that around 138 volcanoes have been discovered under ice in which southern continent? Florence. Antarctica. Antarctica is the correct answer, k -check. Question number four. In marine biology this time, what four-letter name refers to a killer whale or a species? Galit na galit si Lance. Yes. Orca. Orca is the correct answer. Peche. Question number five. What geometric shape that looks like a flattened circle has two foci and a constant sum of instances from them, Algae? Ellipse. Ellipse is the correct answer. Peche. Question number six. Bad Bunny has been the most streamed artist in Spotify for three years from 2020 to 2022. Which female singer broke the streak? Florence? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift broke the streak with more than 26 million streams in 2023. Taylor Swift is the correct answer. Kate Check. Are you asleep? I know. <laughs> okay. Question number seven. What large human organs functions are detoxification of harmful chemicals, secretion of bile, and production of blood? Yes, Florence. Liver. And the production of blood clotting proteins? Liver is the correct answer. Kitchen. Question number eight. Before releasing training season in 2024, which female singer became famous for hit songs? New Rules and Break My Heart. LJ. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa is the correct answer. Teacher. Question number nine. Prabowo Subianto was elected president in 2024 of what Southeast Asian country just south of the Philippines, Florence? Indonesia. Indonesia is the correct answer. Teacher. Question number 10. The 2024 movie Frozen Empire is the fifth film of which comedy franchise, Lance? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is the fifth film of the comedy franchise that started in 1994 about New York's parapsychologists who investigate paranormal manifestations. Ghostbusters is the correct answer. Paycheck. Question number 11. Chikungunya is an infection by a virus spread by which flying insect? Algae. Mosquito. The mosquito is the correct answer. Key check. Last question for this round. Question number 12. Which large mammals that may weigh up to one and a half tons are the closest land relatives to whales? The 
correct answer is the hippo or the hippopotamus. And that's it for our second round. Thank you so much, Attorney Gabby, for that round. Scores recap tayo. Nangunguna tied with 130 points each, si Aljay at si Florence. Congratulations sa inyo. Followed by Lance with 70 points. And of course, CJ, pwede ka pang humabol sa ating last round. Oh, but not to worry, hindi pa po tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. And welcome back to K-Check. Scores recap tayo ulit. Leading sila LJ and Florence with 130 points each, followed by Lance with 70 points at si CJ naman pwede pang humabol sa ating susunod na round. Meron pa nga tayong paparating. Ito yung tinatawag nating ultimate pagalingan round. So dito, contestants, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. So let's go for those points and for the win. Also, in this round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and the answer, but not the letter only. So remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan sa round na to. Kaya naman, let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Gless. Thank you. Ang pamagat ng pelikulang ito ay tumutukoy sa isang taong mula sa mababang uri o yung tinatawag na paduy. Sinasabing tinatawag din ito sa fans ng isang sikat na artista na taga-UPI noong dekada 90. Ano ang salitang ito? Letter A, Jologs. Letter B, Jokoy. Letter C, Jombits. Letter D, Jolens and letter E, Joey. Aldrin. Jologs. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Jologs. K-check. Next question from Prof. Neil. Si Angela Merkel ay nanungkulan bilang Chancellor mula 2005 hanggang 2021 ng anong bansa sa Europa? A. Austria B. France C. Germany D. Italy E. Spain Florence Germany Ang bansang ito ay ang pinakamatao sa European Union at isang pinakamayaman sa buong mundo. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Germany K. Czech Next question, Prof. Marla Science. Which component of a light microscope is used to adjust the amount of light entering the objective lens? A. Condenser B. Diaphragm C. Eyepiece D. Revolving nose piece E. Stage Florence. A. Condenser Mali. E stage. Mali. B diaphragm. The correct answer is B diaphragm. K okay, check. Thank you so much. Next round, we have Prof. Glessy again. Next round. Sa sayaw, ang panggagagad ang isang elementong batayan ng pagtatanghal tulad ng itik-itik na mula sa galaw ng ibong itik o ang tinikling na mula naman sa galaw ng ibong tikling. Kanino ina-attribute ang konsepto ng panggagagad o mimesis? Letter A, Thespis. Letter B, Hercules. Letter C, Aristotle. Letter D, Marx. And letter E, Hegel. A. Testis. Sorry, wrong answer. Ang 
tamang sagot ay letter C, si Aristotle. Thank you. Next question from Prof. Neil. Kilometer zero in Mindanao starts in what city? A. Cagayan de Oro B. Cotabato C. Davao D. General Santos E. Marawi Marawi City Ang tamang sagot ay letter E. Marawi K-Check Thanks, Prof. Neil. Next, Prof. Marla Science ulit In a cell, what is the function of the Golgi apparatus? A. Energy production B. Protein synthesis C. Lipid synthesis D. Sorting and modifying proteins for secretion E. Detoxification Wala man nang nag-try The correct <laughs> The correct answer is D, sorting and modifying proteins for secretion. Thank you. Now we're off to our third set. But before that, wow, si Aljay talagang umarang kada. But pero pa tayong two sets of questions for this round. Prof. Glessy, go ahead. Okay. Sige. Isa siya sa mga naghawan ng landas ng araling pampanitikan sa rehiyong Ilocano. Sa kanya ang aklat na A Brief Survey of Iloko Literature from Beginning to Its Present Development with a Bibliography of Works Pertaining to Iloko People and Their Language. Sino ang UP teacher na ito? Letter A, Pete Daroy. Letter B, Leon Shoko. Letter C, Monico Atienza. Letter D, Leopoldo Yabes. And letter E, Leopoldo Salcedo. D, Leopoldo Yabes. The correct answer is letter D, Leopoldo Yabes. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Next question. Bahagi ang Mesopotamian civilization ng anong continente? A, Africa. B. Asia C. Europe D. North America E. South America A. Africa Mali D. Asia okay. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Asia K-check Tingnan natin kung may makakasagot sa question ni Prof. Marla for this set In geology which of the following influences the rate of weathering? A. The density of rocks B. The amount of sunlight exposure C. The chemical composition of rocks D. The presence of volcanic activity E. The altitude of the location the presence of volcanic activity. Mali. The correct answer is C, the chemical composition of rocks. Thank you so much. Now we're off to the last set of questions for this round. Prof. Glessy, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Theater of the Oppressed, a theater process and philosophy, has been attributed to Brazilian theater artist director Augusto Boal. What is the philosophy of theater of the oppressed? Letter A, theater as entertainment. Letter B, theater as a rehearsal for social change. Letter C, theater as change. Letter D, theater as art. And letter E, theater as commodity. Sorry, wrong answer. Yes. The theater as for social as a rehearsal for social change. Uh, the correct answer is letter B, 
theater as a rehearsal for social change. Okay, check. Meron pang two questions. Tingnan natin kung makakahabol pa si Alje or kay Florence na ba talaga ito. Tingnan natin. Prof. Neil, go ahead. Sino ang kinikilalang pangunahing may akda ng konstitusyon ng Manolos? A. Ambrosio Rianzares Bautista B. Felipe Calderon C. Apolinario Mabini D. Teodoro Sandico E. Vicente Soto Tamang sagot ay letter B, Felipe Calderon. Okay, thank you so much, Prof. Neil. Last question for this round, Prof. Marla. In genetics, which inheritance pattern describes a trait that is controlled by multiple genes and often shows a continuous range of phenotypes? A, autosomal dominant. B, autosomal recessive. C. Polygenic Inheritance D. X-Linked Recessive E. Y-Linked C. Polygenic Inheritance How sure are you of your answer? <laughs> the correct answer is C. Polygenic Inheritance Okay, check! Very close part. Hindi ko alam kung matutuwa ako na nanalo si LJ or matutuwa ako kasi nasagot niya. Finally. Ang good question. Professor Marla. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to LJ, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 235 points. See you again on Friday. Now when... LJ will compete with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. And of course, maraming salamat din kina CJ, Lance, and Florence. Palakpakan natin sila. Thank you for joining. Especially for Florence. Yes. Diba? LJ and Florence really kept us hanging on. Diba? Very close. And thank you also to the members of our panel of experts, Prof. Blessy, Prof. Neil, and Prof. Marla. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Giang. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check! K -Check. K -Check.